competitive, the world has always been competitive, it will continue to be competitive. Intensity of competition will change. But also I think in a competitive world there are also opportunities and therefore uh, it's a combination of competitors and opportunity that needs to be managed very carefully. Now, no matter whether the world is competitive or otherwise, at all levels communication plays a very, very important role. It sits at the family level, at the society, at the communities in which we live, in the larger business world that we, that we manage, or let's say even if you run an NGO or if you do a social organization, even if you are in the business of, let's say, public life, like being a politician, I think communication plays a dramatically an important role. And, uh, and uh, good communications can help managers to deliver what they want to do well. It will prepare the minds of the co-workers, colleagues, subordinates, super supervisors, superiors, uh, sort of don't understand and align themselves with what is being what is being accomplished in the context of the organization. Therefore, I think uh, it's, it's, it's extremely important that communication is emphasis in the business schools. Different business schools do it differently and uh, they have their own way of uh, sort of you know, uh, dealing with the with the context. Uh, but I would say two things. One, uh, world is competitive, but world is also providing opportunities. Communication is important no matter what you do, whether it's an organization level or at the family level or at the community level, whichever level that you want to. And third, I think uh, there is no prescribed formula as how this is being done. Different business schools will address it differently depending on their maturity, depending on their understanding, depending on the resources that they have, depending on the student uh, clientele that they have or the student profile they have. That's what I would say. There are two aspects to this story. Of course, SMS is providing quick connectivity, ability to communicate, talk, friendly, online, all those kind of things. I think that's, that's a technology uh, manifestation of communication. I think real communications happen in meetings, real communications happen in conferences, real communications happen in even in telephone conversations or even SMS. I think, uh, uh, I don't think it, the, the technology or the SMS has uh, ruined the uh, the role of communication. After all, if at all there is something, I think the, the technology has underlined the need to communicate better. I would say no for the very simple reason. I mean, I, I, okay, you can, you can always argue that the modus of communication has changed. For example, if you write a mail, you still write. So unless you think very clearly, you can't write well. Uh, if you do a Skype, you are talking. Unless your body language is good, unless you know what you are talking, unless you choose the right kind of uh, words, phrases, uh, and a logic and a flow, uh, I don't think the communication will be effective. The, the larger point is whether you use an electronic media, whether you use a conventional media, whether you use a print media, I think everyone has to think about what do they want to communicate, how do they want to communicate, what is the logic of communicating, right. and that would broadly remain the same. Depending on the media that you have chosen, there can be a small variation here and there, but I don't think it can fundamentally change the content, style, and the delivery. No, I think there are two ways of looking at it. I think I see this as a blessing in this guys. If I'm very angry with somebody and it's got to be a face-to-face -face communication, uh, maybe like, you know, I come across uh, more crude than what I intend to be. Uh, whereas if I do through the email, I will pause so as we write. But when we write, as you all know, our emotions get moderated and even our anger goes a little bit down. And then we all know that you know, once I write an email, I can send it and it can go quickly. But if I write a um, difficult message, a difficult message may not be a bad message, it may be a message based on anger, whatever it is, what I would possibly do is and I will put it on for about a couple of hours and then I will come back and revisit the mail, I will moderate it further and therefore the crudeness or the impoliteness or the undesirable nature of the message gets moderated. My tip would be very simply the following, the shorter the communication, the better it is. Uh, and uh, and I think when you when you do a short communication, you work very hard to focus on the core message. And there has to be a core message. It has to be packaged. It has to be short. It has to be delivered with conviction. Because people read the mind of the person who is talking. It does not matter what you say, but like you know, how do you say? And how do you appear when you say something? Besides the impact of it.